Hello Grade 8 and welcome to Geometry 3. Today we're going to look at things on the outside, in particular the outside of triangles, and see how they can help us to find missing angles. The objectives in this lesson are to first see what an exterior angle of a triangle looks like and be able to find it, and also to find missing angles using the exterior angle of a triangle. The first thing we need to do is just go back and learn a little bit of English. You probably know this, but it's important to be sure. So the word interior, interior means inside. So whenever we refer to interior things, we're talking about things that are inside the outside lines of the triangle. And it's shown in the shaded region here. These are interior things in this triangle. In the opposite sense, things on the outside, so everything around the triangle that's not inside it, is going to be considered to be on its exterior. But the thing that we need to draw our attention to most today is the actual exterior angle of a triangle. So this angle here that's formed right here is on the outside of this triangle. It's also very important that we learn to use this rule that we look for lines that are perfectly straight. So the base of this triangle or the side of the triangle makes a straight line that continues out past the edge of the triangle. If this situation doesn't happen, we can't use the exterior angle theorem. So here's the rule we need to learn today. And we can prove it if we want to, but let's just learn it first. It says that the exterior angle of a triangle, so the one on the outside, is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. And when we write this reason, which we have to do in geometry, we're just going to abbreviate all of this English into exterior angle of triangle. So the English is confusing. How does it work? Let's say we have a situation that looks like this, a triangle with two angles that are given to us, 70 degrees and x degrees. We haven't been given the other angle that's sitting down here. And we have an angle now on the out. And the measurement of that exterior angle on the outside is 110 degrees. One more time, the things inside the triangle are on the interior. And the angle here on the outside is on the exterior. And just to be sure we've looked, this is a straight line. So let's put the rule to good use. You may need to rewind and watch this section of the video a few times to understand this clearly. It would not be uncommon as many students get confused the first time they learn about this. So in the English, it says that the exterior angle, which is 110 degrees, is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. Breaking it down, the hardest part about the English is seeing and understanding that the opposite angles are going to be the two angles that are the furthest away, but inside the triangle from the outside angle. In this case, that would be this angle and this angle. They are far from the exterior angle, and they are going to be what's called in English the opposite interior angle angles. Now you might ask, how will that help us to find x? Just like all of the questions we're going to be doing in this first part of geometry, the key is to be able to write an equation from the clues and information that we've got. See if you can use the English and the understanding of the exterior angle theorem to write an equation that we could solve to find the value of x. Pause the video now and give it a try. If you did it correctly, you should have said that x plus 70 is equal to 110. It is very, very important to also remember in geometry now, whenever we write an equation, we need to give a reason for why we set our equation up that way. And in this case, we're going to write exterior angle of a triangle was the reason we could state this particular equation. The opposite interior angles, these angles here, x and 70, are going to add up to the exterior angle. 
The most common error that I see students make time and time again as we combine all of these topics together is to say that things like this, or that every time we're working with angles inside a triangle, everything must be 180. Please be on the lookout if you're a student that makes silly errors not to do this, and already be very, very vigilant not to make this mistake. We are now ready to solve this equation and in order to solve this equation, we're just going to use the same old, same old rules. It's an easy equation. And because we have positive 70 and want the numbers together on one side, we're just going to subtract the 70 from both sides. And we'll get that x is equal to 40 degrees. And that's all there is to it. Let's finish off this micro lesson by applying what we know. Sometimes we also need to find the exterior angle or calculate all the values of all the angles. So pause the video and see if you can work out first what is the value of x in this particular problem. And then also try to determine the value of this whole angle here, not just x, but what is the value of 7x. Pause the video and see what you can do. The first thing we need to do to solve this problem is to see all the different parts. And if we're still struggling a bit, let's go through it slowly. The 7x is on the outside of the triangle. It is sitting on a straight line. It's important to check for that, which means that it meets all the rules of being an exterior or outside angle of the triangle. Because we know that, we know now that 7x is going to be equal to the sum of these two angles inside x plus 60 will equal 7x. And I can write that as an equation. Remember as well that we need to give a reason for why we could write this. And we write that as the exterior angle of a triangle. In this case, my equation will look like this, x plus 60 equals 7x. And now I'm going to want to move my variables to the other side so that I can combine all of them and get them equal to a number. I know for some of you this is still a bit tricky because we've just learned algebra this year. So if it helps you, put the positive 1 in front of the x so that we know that we need to subtract 1x from both sides in order to get our final answer. If we work through this problem completely, we'll subtract the 1x and get 6x's. Then we'll divide by 6 on both sides. And if we do all of that, x will be equal to 10 degrees. Don't forget to do all of the problem, though. It also asks us to find the value of the exterior angle. An exterior angle is equal to 7x. And x is equal to 10 degrees. So therefore, it's going to be equal to 7 times 10, or 70 degrees. And that's all there is to it. Make sure you practice this topic carefully. Make sure you review this video a few times and do some of the practice sums and check the answers before you attempt the quiz. Many students find this particular topic difficult because it takes them a while to see the exterior angle and the interior angles of a triangle. Good luck.